Hello and welcome to a simple test of the Panasonic Lumix S5, uh, a full frame hybrid camera. Hybrid meaning that it is equally good for photography and videography. This is practically the first time I've used it for video. And what I want to test, uh, two things really. Uh, what is it like at different ISOs? How does the uh, noise level hold in the footage? And which is the best color profile or photo style, as they sometimes call it, which is the best uh, profile to use? Should we be using Vlog, which is triumphed all around YouTube as the way to cinema quality film quality footage or should we stick with natural which is one of the least um, processed uh, color profiles so all the footage here is shot at dci 4k uh, at 25 frames per second i did not change this at all it's in 422 which is 10 bit color which is the best that this camera can do and it's using the h264 codec i'm editing in davinci resolve um, because life is too short to use anything else. And I have tested at four different ISO settings these two color profiles. And um, you may wish to use different footage. I've used a still life uh, with the camera on a tripod, so I don't really need to worry about other variables. Obviously, testing with uh, a human figure with flesh tones is likely the best. But I'm not really looking for the accuracy of color rendition here. I'm looking for uh, noise, just noise and what it's like to process this footage. So first of all, we've got the natural profile at four different ISOs. Natural profile at ISO 4000, ISO 8000. You'll notice some exposure changes here at 16,000 ISO. And at 32,000, I'm not sure why the exposure is not constant. I was changing the aperture on the camera to keep the uh, shutter angle at 180 degrees. So those all should have been exactly the same exposures. There could be some error in the camera. Uh, I should probably say I'm using the Lumix S 35 millimeter lens, which is a lovely lens. As far as I can tell for photography, it seems to be uh, rendering very, very nicely. Okay, the second profile is V-Log. Uh, this is a logarithmic profile, which means that a greater dynamic range can be crammed into the 10 bits that we have for our color. This will benefit us greatly if we have extremes of dynamic range in our shot, which actually we do not in this case. Uh, but will it benefit us for noise? It's a separate issue. Here's V-Log at ISO 4000 here at 8000 vlog now at iso 16000 and one more stop at iso 32000 i don't know about you but the vlog footage looks a lot noisier to me overall uh, depending on what you were shooting, you could get away with some of those settings, but perhaps not with others. <laughs> um, very much depends on the look you want. I will say the noise is very pleasurable, however. Uh, I mean, it's not just about how much noise, it's about the quality of the noise. And I find this noise very filmic. Um, at least the non-color parts, the luminance parts of the noise are quite filmic. The, the chroma parts of the noise are always annoying um, and, and less, less desirable. I think most people would agree with that. So um, I should say how I graded this. That's the one last thing I should say. For the natural footage, I did apply a little bit of um, gamma and gain to um, lift the footage slightly. It was slightly underexposed. For the V-Log, of course, you have to go through a more extensive process. So what I did was I used a color space transform to get from Panasonic V-Log to Rec. 709. And actually I use output gamma Rec. 7.9A. It's a matter of taste, I guess, which you use. Um, I'm not a color grader. I'm not a technical person when it comes to this. 
can you really match vlog footage with something shot in another profile? I think you're just making life difficult for yourself by trying to do that. So I wasn't so much trying to do that as I was trying to, you know, get the parade scopes for the two types of footage looking somewhat similar. Uh, certainly not an exact match. Okay, that was the method I used. Um, hopefully this has been useful. I recommend anyone should shoot their own test footage with the subjects they want to shoot in the conditions they want to shoot in. And of course, to do more than one test. This test was primarily for noise. It was not for accuracy of color, for example, or for any other characteristics. So uh, I might look at that in the future. Uh, I'm unlikely to make a video about it, but you never know. You never know. This is my little contribution. I hope it helps. I'm liking this camera so far, I must say, for the price. I don't expect it to be the equal of a, of, you know, a, a 6K um, red or, or something else. Uh, 6K being the price <laughs> and also the resolution of some of them. So um, happy so far. I think I'm going to stick with natural. It's a lot easier to grade. Um, it's basically nothing to do. And it looks like it holds the noise as well as anything. We'll see. Thanks for watching.